everybody, Mood616 here back, and I'm back with another hip-hop album review. Yes, I know, it's been a long time, and I know y'all out there have been hounding me for some reviews, and, uh, you know, the funny thing is I've actually recorded a few, and I just never put them up, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm weird like that, I guess, but, um, but I, I felt like I had to do this one, because, you know, this cat is a, you know, is a fellow Canadian, and, uh, I have absolutely loved his first four albums. Um, I think this guy is one of the most underrated MCs of all time. So many people have never even heard of him. And it's a shame because, like I said, his previous four efforts are fantastic. They've got nothing but bangers all over him. And this album is really nothing, you know, to you know take lightly either. Um, and I'm talking about Deal Incognito. His brand new album is called Someday Is Less Than A Second Away. Uh, the title for the album is so fitting. Um, this album originally was supposed to come out in 2010. He was on a, you know, he was on a perfect uh, trend of putting out albums. His first album dropped in 2002, then 04, 06, 08, and this one was supposed to come out in 2010. It got pushed back. I don't know what happened. I've, I tried to find information for years on it, and it finally came out, which I was so surprised and happy to see a brand new album from Deal Incognito. Uh, he represents um, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, of course. And, you know, if you're a fan of Deal Incognito, you pretty much know what you're kind of getting yourself into. Um, you know, he's very, he's very personal in his rhymes. He is a very, uh, he's very down to earth. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't fuck around. Um, you know, he's not explicit at all. Uh, you know, his, his songs are about his personal life and just, you know, personal things and it, you know, just striving for better things and stuff. And, you know, with that said, Someday is less than a second away. And that basic, the title of this album is basically referring to, you know, him finally getting a shine, you know, especially, you know, it is such a perfect title because being his fifth record and never having a miss in his catalog, like when is he going to get a shine, you know, kind of thing. I know he gets it from all of us, you know, fans of the music and stuff, but I think he's talking on a, on, on a bigger, you know, scale kind of thing. Uh, the very first song on the album, Move, Move On, When the Love Is Gone, um, is basically, you know, it's like a tribute to, you know, if there's no more love there, then, then move on, you know, kind of thing. He, it, basically, he just breaks it down very simply and very exciting, you know, it's, it's a really good song. You know, this is, this album doesn't really showcase, uh, you know, like I said, with DL's lyrics and stuff, he, everything's personal. This one is kind of like, um, he has a couple throwback tracks in here, like Days Gone, and uh, Mysterious Ways, like they, those are about reminiscent times and stuff like that. And then he's got other songs like, um, I think Great Hairs is basically about moving on to the future and stuff, and then pursuing better things and, you know, ex not exploiting hip-hop, but just, uh, you know, kind of making hip-hop grow. You know, that's what he's all about. You know, he loves the old school and, and the present, but he wants the future to be, you know, just as good, you know? And I really respect that about Dio Incognito, man. He's one of those MCs that you just, you kind of, you feel when you listen to his lyrics. And as he's delivering his lyrics, his flow is impeccable. Um, you know, he he puts everything straight on a plate. Like, it's just there. Like, you understand everything he's saying. But he does it with such wit and charisma. And he manages to get his point across, you know, so simply in a perfect flow. That's what I love about Dion Cognito, man. His flow always fits beats, but, and everything just works. You know, his lyrics are never written to rhyme just because, you know, for the sake of rhyming and stuff. And that's one thing I just, I've always been fascinated by this guy is that his, his music is, I'm surprised it just hasn't, you know, blown the fuck up. Um, the production on this album is, is more or less handled by Tech 12. You know, Tech 12 has been all over his older albums and stuff. There is a couple other producers on here like Tom Rex, um, uh, who else is on here? Uh, I've seen someone else. Dirty Sample, stuff like that. The album is limited to like minimal features. He's got Adam Baum on here, Decisive, uh, Caleb. Um, and he's got Genevieve uh, B on here, Mysterious Ways. It's, he kind of slows it down in that track a little bit. Um, but you know, overall, this is just another great release by Teal Incognito. Um, you know, his albums are hard to rank because I love them all so much. Uh, this is probably a little lower on my list. Just, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's because I've had so much other time to listen to his other albums and stuff, but, uh, what, you know, this album was put on Urbanet Records, like all his previous albums, so all his five of his albums are available there, or, you know, I, I think you can get them 
actually a lot of places. I actually picked this up at HMV in Canada, so um, that was, you know, kind of surprising that they had it. it was cheap. I think it was only like nine ninety nine or something like that. So I do highly recommend picking this up. Uh, if I had any, you know, kind of critiques on this album or any kind of, uh, you know, nitpicks at it, I'd say this song's super on here. Um, I guess I could probably just bring it up here a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's it's kind of like, it just feels like a filler to me. And, and Dylan Incognito you know, really doesn't do a lot of songs like this. Um, he's just basically using the word super to like describe a lot of things about him, you know, in his past career and stuff like that. I don't know, man. It, it seems like it's kind of a blip, but I don't know. I think this album is fantastic. Days Gone right here with Decisive. Yeah, that beat right there. Yeah, Tech 12's beats on here are really dope, man. Um, you know, he's always had slamming beats. I wish he would do more production for people, to be honest, but... But, uh, yeah. I guess before I kind of, you know, get into every single track on here, I'm, I'll probably just cut this review off, but I do highly recommend this. If I had to rate this album, I'd give it a solid, you know, 7.5 out of 10. It, it runs a little short for my liking. I wish he had a little more content in here. Um, I forgot to mention the song Move On, the very first song of the album. He actually has a remix on the album. The mix is fine to me, um, but I also feel that it's maybe a little kind of out of place on a, such a short album because it just seems like he went from Move On to Move On. You know, and, and that's you know just a minor critique on the record. But, you know, once again, this one is not expensive. Um, it's brand new. Definitely check it out. I highly, highly enjoy this record. And like I said, if you're a fan of DL's older stuff, you will you won't be disappointed by this. It's it's another great listen. And if you're just, uh, you know, finding out about DL right now, I highly recommend that you go pick up all of his other albums. Uh, he's got four other albums. Look them up. Uh, they're all great. And yeah, so... Someday is less than a second away. Such a fantastic title for an album. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this review. Mood 616 signing off. Thank you, thank you for watching and subscribing. Peace out, homies.